Hello everybody, Antonis here. So in this multi-part series, I'll talk about how I sculpted this little girl inside 3D code and then 3D printed it uh, on the Ender 3 Pro printer. In this first video, we'll start with the block out of the girl. And as usual, if you want to buy a professional version of 3D code, there is a promo code in the description. Okay, so I start with a ball and about about 40,000 triangles, so I duplicated that guy, created a body, activated the lighting, and here I kind of jumped through quite a few of those sphere-making exercises. And yeah, you can see I've just pretty much, uh, just reused the ball many, many times, um, scaled it up and down, and made all the parts of the body. So I created a little hierarchy so I could move the arm all around. So this was a skirt. I go with the knee, over the, the legs. One big leg, you don't need two, do you? So now I'm just using the cut tool to shape it up. Making a helmet. So I wanted to make something really cute. Yeah, like having every part separate um, definitely helps a lot in your sculpting process rather than trying to sculpt everything as one single piece. Got the sheens. Now I'm trying. Now I'll do the helmet. Ah, okay. Got the um, generic shape of the face. Didn't like that shape. Redid it. Okay, it's a bit more like it. Alright, so you keep uh, duplicating the stuff, so, and, and don't forget every time you create, you scale stuff, you scale in voxel space, you create a non-uniform mesh, so you have to bring it back to uniform space. some say, metallic rings on top of the helmet, another ring across the helmet, and I think here I did some body parts like a nose, nose, yep, a little funny nose, so I activated symmetry on the leg, and now I wanted just to create an instance, so I made an instance of that leg so it would be easier to sculpt. Trying to make it a bit more change the uh, gen general pose silhouette. So the whole block out took me probably about half an hour, and I didn't really have too much of an idea what I wanted to do, so it was more of an experimentation. I did a couple of sketches on the paper, but I I kind of didn't really do what I sketched. I'm 
back in the ships. Now I'll create an instance and move it across. I wanted to do it symmetrical just because, just to save time. It was supposed to be just a 3D print at, uh, and I wanted to... Uh, the thing is, I was actually about to sell my 3D printer and I had to push out this goal in a couple of days before I would uh, pretty much deliver it to, uh, to the buyer of the 3D printer and I needed to get it as done as soon as possible because I also had to do the 3D printing tests which didn't go that well as I thought so I did this uh, an inst an instance a whole hierarchy. So now I have a arm and you know shoulder and forearm and the wrist and the hand all instance. So I can easily then modify any part of that chain and it will be all transferred across the the symmetry. Here I'm doing the glasses. So for the girl, and really simple shapes. You know, just um, reusing the sphere, cutting that sphere out and placing it across so now doing the glass for the glasses one is done and i instant, instant the whole hierarchy across so the Metal ring plus the glass inside the glasses, the goggles, and goggles. So you see, it's well, kind of already been shaped up pretty well. You get a really good basic understanding, you know, of what's going to be. Yeah, just uh, posing and trying to figure out where to put the neck, where to put the head, for it to look the best. I wanted it to look uh, up, essentially, because it's a small figurine which I wanted to print out, and that would, I wanted to make it looking cute and at, at the person standing at the 3D print. And that's it for the block out, and in the next video it will be about the head, I made the head, and let's see you in the next video.